another collaboration with Cactus Plant um, Flea Market between Nike. Um, they've been absolutely smashing their collaborations when it comes with Nike, man. They've done quite a few shoes, quite a few bits of apparel in a very short period of time, especially considering um, how new the brand is. I don't think the actual person running the brand, she's a young lady, um, is really new to the industry because, you know, you don't go um, from being a fairly unknown person to suddenly being friends with everybody in LA and everybody that is, you know, anybody within the fashion streetwear hype beasty realm without having some connection behind the scenes so i'm sure she has everything links but for a new brand to kind of go from zero to whatever they've gone is amazing some might call her a plant <laughs> get that yeah no, that's a bit bad isn't it? but whatever um <laughs> really good stuff and i like these again not my favorite model again i'm a bit i've got a bit of an issue with nike trying to force feed dunks down people's throats for the best part of what two years it feels like every two years they try and just force them back down our throats it feels like they're trying to make them as much of a staple as air force ones they're never going to get to that level i just don't think that's the case i don't know whether or not it's about them not being as comfortable as Air Force Ones, whether it's the fact that they don't actually have, you know what I was thinking actually, maybe it's the fact that Nike don't actually have a general, a GR version of a plain dunk that you could just buy at JD Sports or at Foot Locker or at Foot Action, wherever you live, right? Or a size. Do they have one? I don't think they do. Like a general shape, quality, standard, dunk low, dunk mid, dunk high that you could just purchase. You could just go into office and just purchase. I don't think that exists. If it did exist, uh, I, I mean in the essence similar to like what Air Force One have with the white with the all white lows mids and and all white blacks yeah and blacks as well in that respect isn't it they have those two or those two iterations of shoes that they kind of you know give to most shops so you already know what that looks like you know the form factor you know how it fits they don't change the sizing it's just the same shoe every single year you buy it blindly bang bob's your uncle granny's your aunt and maybe with a dunk the fact that you know it looks a bit odd on the feet it's not the most comfortable list of shoes the, the i guess the the higher up you go if it's a premium collaboration they get obviously far better uh, materials and shapes and all that malarkey but just the general you know the gr versions of dunks aren't the best in my opinion but again um i quite like this makeup or this sort of um this iteration here with cactus plant flea market so this is from duh, 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 just rest kicks says the following and um, ever since the vapor max collaboration which i wasn't really a big fan of the cactus plant flea market has held the hearts of many sneakerheads now they're back in 2020 with two new dunk lows i think this has just come after the fact they had an air force one in that i really like too um the dunk um catching is it's catching on fire this year it's not really it's just nike pushing it really hard i don't think anyone's I've, I've legitimately not seen one person wearing any new dunk that's been out lately i might see no actually i saw a kid in a pair of the the chunky dunkies but that was you know just one of those kids that wears you know head to toe off white so you know what his vibe is all about but i haven't seen anybody wearing regular dunks in my everyday life no it's like especially in lockdown it's hard to see people but you, de you definitely do catch a vibe of what the trainers people are feeling and I haven't seen one person wearing a pair of new dunks that have been at the moment even online as well Insta. who's the last person that you've seen wearing a pair of dunks that they bought even a Vitex who's the last person you've seen wearing Vitex do you remember before the Vitex come out everyone that got them CD to them was wearing them all over the timeline now where do you see do you see Vitex on your timeline anymore there we go um, ever since the Vapormax collaboration, Cactus Plant Fee Markets have this continued. We said they were already. While we don't have any leaked images just yet, one pair we come hang out is a pure platinum and pure platinum. Um, the others opts for spiral. Da -da -da. It continues on more information. As of now, all we know is that two iterations will be releasing this holiday via select retailers. You've got one that's platinum and one that's going to be spiral sage. Updates. It looks like most in more influencers are getting early pairs. Um, check out the video here of Venus X picture. Oh, well done for her sharing that. Um, with a just do it drawstring bag and that's what you get with these um in incredible michael jackson inspired shoes they look sensational oh look at the mesh they use too i don't know what that mesh is called but it's lovely it's got like really big holes in it you find it in um i'm gonna say so not sock dart what shoe you find that mesh in it's really really nice that lining on the inside beautiful nice thick laces it looks like a thick tongue so it's not an sb is it it's just a regular dunk club according to a label here on the box but I, lo I love the I love what the tongue looks like. Maybe it's because of the um, diamond tays that are spread across the tongue. That's sort of you know making the tongue warp a little bit. But I love the shape of the tongue. I love the laces. Very very sort of plain on the upper. Sorry, very plain on the midsole, and then you know bedazzled all over on the upper. Like really really cool. I love that. And the drawstring bag is incredible as well. Just do it drawstring bag. That's probably worth it enough for the price of admission, isn't it? But I'm sure this is probably the unfortunately 
this might be the friends and family version and then what you'll get is just probably get a normal box i'm assuming right and probably not without sans a drawstring bag they're, they're not gonna be able to they always say this right and i and i kind of repeat it too they'll be like oh they can't produce that many you know it's just too expensive it's like it's nike bro they're worth billions you know what i mean they could easily produce those and sell them to everybody but they won't they'll they'll send them out to all the influencers they'll give them to a few select retailers who will sell more out the back door you'll try and get them on the nike sneakers app you catch loads of l's and you'll be back there again next time for another shoe that you'll not be able to get it is what it is oh and look at what it comes with in a box um you got the obviously the tab there with the logo and then you've also got this little um logo as well from um cactus flea that what is it like a got is it gold i'm not sure if it's gold i'm not sure if it's a, a hang tag that you can hang on the shoe or if it's just something that you can put on something else but i quite like the look of that as well but look at those man it looks amazing you do, do you think they've got like a um because what was the other grade there's tier zero there's a up there's a grade above that where you sometimes from nike get like a wooden box or you get a, your trainers delivered by a fucking helicopter i wonder if they've got a version of this shoe that actually contains real diamonds and will they end up giving that to what dj Khaled or something like that right that would be epic, innit? If they do a shoe like that, like an actual real diamond encrusted one that's, I don't know, worth, you know, half a mil or whatever it may be. Now, Kylie Jenner's got a pair as well. She'd be, yeah, she'd be wearing dunks a lot lately. Uh, you could, you, again, you can tell Nike are trying their best to make this a thing by giving them out to people like her to try and make them a situation. But again, she always looks, maybe it's my opinion, but she always looks a bit weird in trainers. Maybe because we see her so often wearing really slinky dresses and shit and mass and amazing heels or whatever, maybe, but she doesn't look the best in trainers. There's a picture of her I saw recently, a pair of Jordan Freeze. Jordan Freeze never look good on anyone, do they? Unless you're wearing shorts, Jordan Freeze look terrible on everybody. And she's wearing a pair of Jordan Freeze. It just doesn't look comfortable. I even saw in a pair of... Didn't she wear a pair of um, Travis's Dunks, right? And they look really awful on her too. It's all like the shoe was wearing her instead. I don't know. It's hard for girls like her to just look good in trainers. I don't know what it is. You have to be a certain type of girl to drop shoes. But maybe that's what I know. Um, so let's see this video of, of Kylie with these shoes and what they look like. Oh, get rid of this music before I get copyright striked. Oof. They dancing in it the diamantes and that are dancing they look incredible mate that looks good in it oh that's probably the filter I'm, I'm assuming on the instagram filter she's using sorry i'll take that back but they look great see look that's what usually what she has in her wardrobe a pair of ricks some boots and stuff like she looks better in this sort of stuff because it obviously accentuates her legs but when she puts on trainers it doesn't look the best but continue here thanks to lebron james and he's at bari we now have a first look at one of the cats is okay they got a pair too they're really pushing them in it but yeah, I'm okay. So I guess oh, that would be a, such a letdown. Imagine if this is the tier zero pair, this one with the diamonds, and then the ones that we will probably end up having to fight over on the sneakers app are these two. <laughs> what a drop down! Again, um, on their own, they're pretty cool colorways, right? They kind of remind me of a a kind of Atmos Code Code JP um, exclusive. But if you know, considering that you show me this and then you turn up with that, you know, that's a bit of a honey dick. That's a little bit of a honey dick. But again, um, let's see. They're due to come out when? when? What's the date here they've got on them? Ba -ba -ba, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. They look beautiful though, innit? Scroll up, scroll up. Uh, release date, holiday 2020. So I'm assuming towards the end of the year sometime. Keep an eye out for that. It might help to brighten up your year. But let me know. Are you going to get a pair? Um, will you Will you uh, be uh, putting yourself through the raffle process? Putting yourself through the process where you get a chance to buy a pair of shoes? Would you be doing that? If so, let me know in the comments down below.